All right, Shalom Israel. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kordash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible, and a double Shalom one to all the Sisi Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And me and the brother Isaiah was able to link up today. You know, we're just going to get into a lesson on the prophets or one of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that war is coming. You know, World War Three. So without further ado, we're just going to dive right into it and we're going to grab our first precept. This is the book of Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right. It said, the second woe has passed. That word woe means death and destruction. So the second death and destruction has passed. That was World War II. Read that from the top again one more time, Bible Show. This is Isaiah eleven fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right. And the third woe. Once again, woe means death and destruction. The third death and destruction is coming quickly. And that's World War Three. You see? And you can clearly see World War Three starting to brew up. You know, it's, it, it's on a small scale right now, but it's, it's amping up, you know? You, you turn on your own, on your TV, you know, go on YouTube. You can see things slowly happening over in the Middle East. You know, wars on the horizon. Mm -hmm. You see these, um, you see all these nations coming against America, you know? Mm -hmm. You see the Lord, um, preparing, telling the mighty men of these, um, heathen nations to wake up and prepare for war, you know? Mm -hmm. And that, so that's what we tell telling our people, that, you know, this world war to come is going to be, uh, it's coming quickly, you know? The destruction of America is on the rise. Okay. Um, let me get Isaiah 9 and 5. Okay, and we're telling our people that this this world war is going to be a nuclear war, you know? Okay. This is going to be Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise right. and garments rolled in blood. Right. It said for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And that's your own, your, your ancient own wars you had, your ancient battles. You know, you would have, back in the, back in the ancient where you would have, you know, one army fighting against another army, and, you know, and it would be with confused noise because, you know, you have one army running to another army with swords, you know, and the swords would be clinging at each other, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and, and it would be like a lot of um, yelling and hollering commotion. going on, commotion, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's your confused noise right there. R read it from the top one more time, Bible Kishaw. Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise mm -hmm. and garments rolled in blood. Right, and the garments rolled in blood because, you know, at the... You know, all that loud noise that happened, you know, people killing each other. Their mm -hmm. garments would be rolled in blood. They'd be laying on the ground dead, and they'd be all bloody. Mm-hmm. Or you might kill somebody, and his blood might splatter all over you. Kind. But this, but this World War Three, you mm -hmm. know, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right, so this World War Three, that third world is coming quickly. This is going to be with burning fuels of fire. That's what this war is going to consist of, you know, which is the ICBM missiles. Mm -hmm. That's that's the own that's the own third world is coming quickly. That's the weapons of the Lord's indignation, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the instrument that the Lord used to destroy this place called America, you know. And the Lord has us set up out there on the highways and byways, warning our people, telling them that war is coming, you kind, know. Kind. Or precept. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Right, so Jeremiah is saying the prophets that was before him and of us of old. And who are some of the prophets that was before Jeremiah and us? You got, you know, Ezekiel, um, Amos, um, Noah, um, Joseph, um, Noah. Noah, you know, and um, so forth on. These are all the prophets that were before Jeremiah and others of old. Mm-hmm. 
This is back in Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, both Sakia. Let me read it from the top one more time. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. And prophesied means to tell you before something happens. Both against many countries and great kingdoms. Right. So the prophets that was before Jeremiah and us prophesied against both many countries and great kingdoms. You see, so when the prophets of old prophesied against many countries and great kingdoms, they were basically saying what was going to happen before it happens. And that's what we're doing today. We're prophesying the downfall and destruction of America. We're saying what's going to happen before it happens. Mm -hmm. So we're going to read on and see what the prophets of old prophesied about. Yeah, because the Lord is sending us on the scene now. Because just like he did uh, when it was in the time of Egypt and he sent uh, the prophet Moses, you know, to preach the downfall and destruction of Egypt, the Lord is having us do the same thing because their wickedness has increased, you know. Okay. This is um, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before the old, both Sake old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war. Right, so the same way the prophets of old prophesied against war way back when, the same thing we're doing now. We're prophesying the war. Mm -hmm. Telling you about World War Three that's coming. That's how you know who the true prophets are of the Heavenly Father, you know? That's how you know if the Lord truly sent them, if they're going to be prophesying of war, you know? Mm -hmm. Once it, we're telling you about something that's going to happen before it happens. Mm -hmm. Of war and of evil. Right, we're telling you about um, this, this like the same way the prophets of old prophets out against evil. We're doing the same thing. We're telling you about the evil, you know, bad times that's coming into America. Martial law, race riots, you know, the off by D chip, which is the mark of the beast, you know, a famine of food and thirst and so forth on. And of pestilence. And enough diseases. So the same way the prophets of old were prophesying against diseases, about diseases, we're doing the same thing. We're telling you about the H one N one, you know. The bird flu, the swine flu, um, mm -hmm. the flu, the flu shot. I mean, it's like yeah, the flu. One one way, um, yeah, cause the flu did kill a lot of people. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was this year or late last year. Mm -hmm. But it, it was it was killing a mass number of people, and they were really trying to sweep it under the rug about the amount of people that are actually dying from the flu, which is crazy. But um. Another way a lot of people are going to be dying is when, um, in time of Jacob's trouble, and um, a lot, all these dead bodies and are laying there on the ground. You know, it's just going to be enough. You know, you might try. A lot of people are going to be trying to eat dead bodies and things like that, and they're going to catch this. They're mm -hmm. going to start. Then they're going to catch some crazy disease and just die slow, a painful death. Mm -hmm. Then they might get eaten. You know, it's just bad times coming to America. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Lord has us out here telling you the things that's going to happen before they happen, you know. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, <clears throat> verse 9. Mm -hmm. And it reads, Behold, the former things are come to pass. And that's, you know, World War One, World War Two. you know, the, 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 um, the flood, um... The southern kingdom of Judah, Benjamin Levi, coming to America on cargo slave ships. And the whole nation of Israel as a whole, you know, discontinued from their heritage. You know, these are former prophecies that have already come to pass. Mm-hmm. Behold, the, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Right, and the new things are the prophecies. New prophecies do Yahweh Bashim HaShah declare to come to pass. And what's the new prophecy? World War Three, which we're going into. The third woe. You know, um, a famine of food and thirst. Um, a famine of hearing these words, um, your race rise, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, all these are on new prophecies that you have by Shema Shah declaring to come to pass. Mm hmm. And it reads, Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Right, before these prophecies, before they spring forth, before they come to pass, before they actually happen, you have by Shema Shah who the word ignorantly calls God and Jesus, who's a so-called black man, he tells you of them. And how does he tell you of them? By his prophets, like we just read in on Jeremiah 28 and 8. Yep, the prophets, 
Did the Lord say that we're going to be the true prophets that be held by Shema is going to be warning of the death and destruction that's coming, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, and the Lord has us going to the World War Three. It's coming to America. And that's one of the major prophecies that are left to happen. You know, troops on the ground. ICBM this, uh... ICBM missiles. ICBM missiles getting shot off, which is going to be the climax of World War Three. you know, because right now, like, the head of our camp always likes to say, you know, fights always starts with words, you know? Mm -hmm. So, technically, we are in the World War Three right now, just it hasn't been declared publicly, but the brothers didn't know, you know that every fight starts with words, and these two proud-ass heathen nation, these two, this... This proud devil here in America is not going to back down, you know, mm -hmm. which is going to cause him to go to World War Three and be utterly destroyed, you know, which is all the Lord's plan. That's why we, the Spirit of Yahweh by Shema Rashad is telling you people to get right with the Lord before death and destruction comes, you know, mm -hmm. before the Lord comes back and destroys this place. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Come on. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17, and it reads, look at it. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17, and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right, so how about you, my shot? He has made us watchmen. You know, and what is a watchman? What is a watchman job? If you look at these ancient world movies, a watchman will stand on a tower, and you know, he will watch out for unfamiliar faces or approaching enemies. And as soon as that watchman seen those unfamiliar faces or those approaching enemies coming, he will blow the trumpet and sound an alarm to let his people know that the um, that the approaching enemies are coming, that those unfamiliar faces are coming. They get ready for battle, you know, to get ready for war. Mm -hmm. You see, if a watchman's job is to watch, he shouldn't be playing around and goofing off because then he's gonna miss what he's supposed to be watching uh, watching for. You see, so that's what we do in this truth. We watch for things, you know. We watch out for the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, we watch out for um, the race riots on um, World War Three. We watch out for everything that's spoken up in this Bible to let our people know what's coming. So we're the watchmen of, of Israel. And Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. Mm-hmm. Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. And give them warning from me. Right. The scripture says, therefore, hit the words at my mouth and give them warning from me. And how are you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans supposed to hear the words that you have by Shemashah's mouth to get the warning? You're going to hear it through his servant, the prophet. Because once again, just like reading Jeremiah 28 and 8, you have sent forth his, his prophets to warn you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans. To, to prophesy to y'all. To tell you the things that's going to happen before it happens. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get the warning through the prophets. Do you have by Shemashah's men that he set up? Yeah, and the warning today is World War Three is coming. That you know you want to escape that. And the only way you can be able to escape that is through of uh, Yahweh Shema Shai protecting. You know, mm -hmm. it says the um the name that the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and are safe. You know, you may keep going on. That's it. You can finish it off. Eighteen. Come. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die. Two thirds of the nation of Israel. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Right, so if we don't come out on the highways and byways and want two thirds of the nation of Israel on what they're doing wrong, on how they're transgressing the laws that's commands of the Bible, you know, on how they're indulging in their wickedness, if we don't come out on the highways and byways to warn them, when they die in their, their, their iniquity, their wickedness, their blood is going to be required out of their hands because we shouldn't have been out there to tell them what to do and what not to do according to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Verse 20, again, when they... I'm sorry. Verse 19, mm -hmm. Yet if thou warn the wicked... If we warn two-thirds of the nation of Israel... And he turn not from his wickedness, mm -hmm. nor from his wicked way, mm -hmm. he shall surely die in his iniquity... But thou hast delivered thy soul. Right, so if we want two-thirds of the nation of Israel, and two-thirds don't turn from their iniquity or their wicked way, they're gonna die in their own own they're gonna die in their own wickedness. But we delivered our soul because we told them what it was. If they choose not to hearken unto the men of the Lord, the Yahweh Shimashah has set up, stone with the apostles and the elders of the great millstone to the men on down, 
and they're gonna die in their own in their own wickedness. Mm, they're gonna die in this upcoming World War Three mm -hmm. in the uh, in the upcoming uh, bad evil times that are coming, the bad times and the pestilence, all these different diseases. You know, mm -hmm. they're gonna be taken in that destruction. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna deliver our souls. Lord's will will be some of those men. You mm -hmm. see, so. We, we, we're, 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 we're commanded to prophesy to you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans and tell you what's going to happen before it happens. It's supposed to give you a warning. You see, because World War Three, like we read in on Revelations 11 and 14, is coming quickly, that third woe. And what the Lord say, um, he's, he's coming quickly as well, you know? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, Behold, I come quickly. So the Lord's coming simultaneously mm -hmm. at the climax of that World War III, those, when those nuclear missiles would be shot out to save the elect, you know, and the sincere brothers um, know that we all wouldn't be a part of that, you know? Mm-hmm. That's it. So with that, I hope you've been edified. This has been another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we like to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which is as this truth according to the Bible, and a double shalom to all the sincere Akin throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. Shalom. Shalom.